Hello, it's Peter Mead and I'm doing a video here to demonstrate our SEO reporting. In particular to walk you through some of the performance metrics and some of the other important things there are to understand about how the SEO reporting works. So let's go across to the other screen. So here we go. I've created a report which is based on a real client but I have changed everything out to say demo client for the purposes of this demonstration because we're very keen on keeping the confidentiality of our clients. Uh, we start with a table of contents and uh, there's a bunch of different sections here. So let's walk through what happens here. So we start with our performance metrics. And let me just uh, explain some of this. Performance metrics are very important because these are the these are the numbers that help us to keep on track. This measures our performance basically and it measures how well your site is doing. And so let's have a look. The first six figures you can see here, these all come from Google Analytics. And so uh, we're also seeing here that it is for a 90 day period. So it's important to note that we, although we, we generate these reports on a weekly basis and we send them weekly, but we are the reporting period for the analytics section is for a 90 day period. So we're looking at new sessions, uh, looking at overall sessions, new sessions, pages per session, bounce rate, average duration and goal completions. And and what we're looking for here is, I mean, we really want, obviously, to have some growth in these areas. It's not always possible, but what is important is to understand for 90 days, for instance, how many goals, I mean, this is your conversions. So how many times have people made contact through your contact us form or made an inquiry or purchase your item on your online store, whatever it happens to be. Because this is where you can figure out your return on your investment. Now also important to look at is the estimated keywords and the estimated traffic, traffic costs. And uh, based, on, based on your search engine performance over the past 12 months. Now this is this section here which shows here we can see 2100 keywords so what that means is the number of keywords bringing users to the website uh, by Google's top 100 organic search results so we're looking to see which keywords you're getting found for within the top 100 so of course it's also too important to remember that smaller keywords with less volume the sort of keywords that just don't get searched for very often they also don't fall into this category. So it is it is an estimate, it is not as specific. Whereas the Google Analytics is a lot more closer about the actual traffic that's coming. So uh, here it's also important to remember this is for a 12 month. So here we're trying to see how you're performing in your, um, in uh, Google, in Google search results over 12 months. So, here we're looking at 1.5k, so that's about a thousand and a half uh, visits per month coming as a result of being found in those top 100. And then we can do some more calculations based on what we know those keywords, what their cost per click is, then we can sort of estimate, you know, uh, what it would, very approximately what it would cost you if you had to uh, by had to get that same traffic by paying for it with Google AdWords. So 
this is obviously we're saying this is organic organic search traffic and we're saying that if you had to pay for that this is roughly very very roughly what it would cost of course all these numbers are estimates but they're based on the best estimate based on the demographics and all your information that we know let's move down to the next section to your competition metrics and here we're looking at specifically where is your site so here's our demo client sitting here and here we're looking at how are they positioned amongst their other major competitors and here you can see our demo clients doing quite well at the moment and we are going to keep improving that to move it up higher so and then of course also we can see your your organic uh, search for your top competitors and here we're just showing the top competitors and we're showing how many common keywords do these sites have to our demo client and how many search engine keywords are they getting found for and what is the competition level like how competitive are these sites to our site uh, also we're looking at the organic keyword performance so now we want to see for instance how many keywords are within the first one to three results on a Google search result and we can see here we've got 115 keywords that are sitting between the first to the third positions in the search engine result and here we can see there's 280 that are sitting on 4 to 10 so this is the first page these two columns represent the first page of Google um, and as we go down further we can see there are a lot of other keywords that are, that are down lower and this is our opportunity to focus on these keywords that are down lower to bring them up higher so here we show you your organic search positions from 1 to 100 and basically what we're saying is uh, up higher when we showed you the top 100 you know what we're saying is these are these are these are some of those as you can see there's 2114 keywords but we're only showing the top 1 to 100 and it's ordered by the column here which is the percentage of traffic so we're saying this keyword here is a big important keyword although it's not on the first page but it is very a lot of people are searching for this keyword so we're saying this is sending more traffic um, here we can see uh, there's a number one ranking there's a number three position there's a number seven position and so on it goes and we we can see a lot of information about these keywords they're their estimated cost per click if you were to pay for that same traffic in AdWords and your your also the estimated keyword difficulty how difficult is it going to be to be found for that keyword and uh, yeah there's also we can see the trend how how have we been going also the last time this keyword was checked and updated and some keywords as you can see with the lower the lower volume they don't get checked as often so uh, but we can see lots of lots of keywords and you know a high percentage of traffic is getting sent so we do the, we do 1 to 100 so I'll just scroll down through these now to the right down to the last section of the report now the last section here is very important and it's not to be misunderstood and I think a lot of people have heard about links and links to their website and perhaps there is a there is a tendency for this to be misunderstood and rightly so because um, there was a bit of a history uh, going around where perhaps people were trying to to game or trying to beat Google by getting links now here's uh, if you read what I've said here there is absolutely no methods we do not use any spammy methods we don't go and try to manufacture any links 
what we are doing is earning those links and these are the kinds of links that we need to your site and the kinds of links that Google loves and so we know that Google looks at links and it helps Google to understand you know where our where our website is positioned and how important is our site and so this all happens through a completely natural process the whole process is all about how how well we can go about creating that fantastic content, you know, that really uh, high interest, the content, the, the kind of content that people are interested in looking at, reading, consuming, and sharing, and ultimately they can create links to that content that we're creating on your site. And that's how these links are created. And here we can see uh, over the past 12 months, you know, we can see there's been 149 backlinks from 57 referring domains and uh, 57 referring IP addresses. And this to me is, is quite, a, quite a nice even pattern of links coming to your site. From Now, the, of course, the trick here is, is that the important part is, are these links all of a very high quality? And, of course, to some degree, we don't have a lot of control over that. Uh, there are methods we can use to repair uh, issues if there are bad links, but in general, we you know we just let the links come from people who want to link to us, and we assume that because we're publishing and we're sharing out into the public domain, it's that uh, that po you know the positive feedback is generating those positive links back to us. Now we, at some stage later on, there is there is some more kind of uh, reporting and auditing that we will do periodically to check the quality of those links. And if we find that there has been any spammy links coming by their own accord, just people creating spammy links to our site, then we do go through the process of addressing those spammy links. Now, now that's the end of this. That's the end of this report. Now, of course, there are also um, also f we also do uh, analysis, which is very important to uh, remember. Which is we also do specific custom reporting whenever there's analysis required. But this weekly report is very important because this is your thermometer, your weekly thermometer of how things are traveling. We like sending it every week because that gives you an early indication of how things are going. And, but also the content that's in it, as you'll see, we like looking over a broad spectrum so we can see those patterns over time. Of course, you know, doing a week, doing a monthly report and just focusing on a month is, we've discovered is a little bit short-sighted so we like doing this weekly report but focusing over a broader time whether it be 90 days or 12 months so that's the information about the seo reporting and this is peter mead signing off